What's good, what's good? Back with a new video. Um, it's 5.31 in the morning. Been up for about 30 minutes now, man. And um, want to make this quick video. The reason I tell y'all to have great friends and great motivators around you, you can use those people to push you in life. You get to use those people to to feed off, to, to, to drive you. The guys I work with, man, they never miss a day of work. It's one guy, man. I don't know, bro. I don't know what it is about him. It's like he the older version of where I'm trying to be in life. He done did all the young, dumb stuff when he was young. You know, for his females. He done, he done had his fun. Now he just grind and stack his money. I'm around hundred thousand dollar people all the time, man. It drives me so much to be so successful when I'm hanging around people that showing me their bank account, showing me their four hundred one k, and they got three hundred thousand dollars here. They got a hundred thousand dollars there. They got four or five thousand dollars over here. I'm like, what? This dude don't dress like he got a hundred thousand dollars. This dude don't drive a car like he got a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, he driving something that the average Joe would drive. Then you go look at his, you go to his house. He got this big ass house. He got the car convertible. He got the he got the BMW. Why you ain't driving this? This this is why I move the way I move because I'm hanging around people I can feed off. I'm hanging around people that. Their life is, is totally different than what you see. One of these guys, man, he's 60 some years old. The other one, 50 some. Um, a younger one, you know, white dude, man, he 30 some. Then another one, he 29 with the family. And I'm like, I'm around these dudes, bro. When I think about, yo, I'm going to take a day off. I ain't going to hit the gym. I think about this old ass nigga, man. He's 60 something, 61 years old. He's still going to the gym. Then I think about this other, my trainer. He 53, 52. Motherfucker look like he 40, 41. I'm like, man, what the fuck? How can I fail at life when I got these people right here in my face? I'm in the face of hundreds. I'm in the face of the presence of people that got Big money, doing real good in life, grinding so fucking hard. This, this, my trainer, bro, this dude go to work every fucking day. This dude got so much PTO and so much vacation time, he can take off for literally two months if he wanted to and get paid for it. He, he can take off, go sit at home for two months and get paid every fucking day. On top of that, he going to the gym every day. How can I not grind and go hard at life? How can I half-ass life? This is why I tell you to get around friends, to get you some people that can push you without even telling you. All you got to do is look at their life and be like, what? Man, I got to go hard, man. I got to go hard. I can't, what? What? This dude right here is 50, 60, the other one 35, the other one 29. Look at these motherfuckers. Then there's another white dude, man. This no this motherfucker. He 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 funny, man. He got sarcasm out this world. Sometimes you just gotta give him a pass though. Because he he know what he's talking about. This dude Bank, the dude filed bankruptcy twice. Now he got a fucking house that worth five hundred thousand dollars. This an average motherfucker. This dude look like he do drugs every day, but instead he working every day. This motherfucker got the the house where he got a fucking garden, a uh, a uh, uh, an outside house that you can open up, you know, shit like that I see on TV or I done heard about. But I'm standing right, I'm eating dinner with this motherfucker. I'm eating dinner with a motherfucker that close to a million dollars. I'm eating dinner with a motherfucker that got 
He, for his side account, for his side account, he got about 200000 then I get a motherfucker yesterday call me over and said, Jabarcus, are you putting any money in your 401k yet? Yes, sir. See, I'm hanging with y'all. Yes, sir. I'm working on mine. My 401k looking all right. But then he said, Kimmy, let me show you something. This is right here. Look at this. I said, what? This motherfucker got $315,000 just sitting right there. Just sitting there. This guy right here, he's about 50 some years old. I'm sitting here like, man, I'm surrounded by motherfuckers that get it. And you know one thing they had all have in common? Consistency. These motherfuckers grind every day. Consistency. And I'm like, wow. Sometimes y'all, I lay in bed. I'll be like, bro, I ain't really feeling it today, man. I ain't going to go in today. If I miss a day, I'm still going to get paid. That's the thing. If I take off, you still get paid for it, you know? So I'm like, bro, I don't really got to go today. Just chill out. I can't do that. I can't do that knowing that these guys are way older than me. They still getting it. No, bro, I got to get it, man. Guys, about... Three weeks ago, I went to, no, what, two weeks ago? Went to chill out in Birmingham, Alabama. That's two hours away from me. I went with one of my homeboys. We we chopped it up, and we were like, man, we're going to go out Thursday. He wanted to go to some fucking alpha part. He alpha. I was like, all right, bro, I'll come over there. I got a chick in Birmingham anyway, so cool. I like, but, man, I can't miss work, though, bro. So I'm like, man, I ain't going to go. Then I'm like, well, you know what? I'm I'm young, man. I'm going to have my fun and I'm still going to get it. Guys, I went to Birmingham two hours away. Went to the fuck. I ended up going to the fucking strip club. He can't get in the strip club because I beat him there. You know, I drive a little fast, you know. So I beat him to Birmingham. I'm already at the strip club chilling. He said, because I ain't know where the spot where we was going to. He know. So I'm like, man, I'm just gonna chill right here till you get here. So this the thing, what the alpha party didn't start until nine, like nine, ten o'clock. So I'm like, shit, I'm chill right here, bruh. You know what I'm saying? I'm chilling at the script club, go to the party, end up leaving out, going to the girl house. Guess what? Me and her have a great time, you know, fucking going on. When we finish having our sex, it's like two in the morning. Two, three in the morning. I left the after party like by eleven or something. So me and her fucking all night. You know, just chilling, fucking, watching TV, chilling, fucking. Go to sleep. I wake up seven o'clock. I like, bruh, I'm finna go to work. She said, huh? <laughs> you know, in her head, she probably like, this motherfucker been out all night. We been fucking for about two hours. Two, two and a half hours. It's seven o'clock. It's going to take him two hours to get back home. Guess what? Gone. I'm going to work. I'm going to work. Yeah, I was out all night. I'm going to work, man. I thought about them dudes, bro. No, man. I can't let them get it. I got to get it, too. I want my bank account to sit nice. I want my bank account to sit right. Why do I want to sit right? Because guess what? That It takes money to help these kids. I can't just be out. Yeah, my words can help, but also it take money to get to certain places, to be able to talk to certain people, to be able to do certain things. So I got to get the money so I can help the kids. You feel me? So guess what? On the road again. Had a great night. Guess what? I'm on the road. Stop and get me some breakfast. Going through Alabama. Get it. Get it. Man, I got to get there. I got to get there. Guess what? As I'm getting to Columbus, Mississippi, I'm like... If I turn off right here, I can go home and just go to bed. I'm going to get paid for it anyway. Nah, bro. I got to show up. I got to show up. I got to be present. I got to show up. So, being surrounded by those guys, they push me without even knowing it. This is why I tell you, man, if you hanging with people that are negative and not doing shit, how can you feed off of them? 
How can you feed off of somebody that's not doing that? To get you some friends that doing something, making moves in life, creating business, grinding hard, working on their body, working on their mental, just just doing something. You can feed off of them. And they can feed off of you. What are you doing in life to say you want to be better than you was? I got to get it, bro. I got to get it. And I'm using them to help push me to the next level. And I tell them all the time. I said, bro, I steal y'all energy all the time. I, me, I believe in energy. A lot of people don't understand that. I'm an energy person. Um, vibes. Energy around my world, man. Energy. Energy is real. Uh, I can't stress that enough. Energy is real, y'all. It's real. You get around a certain person with that high energy, man, they'll float your ass to heaven. You feel me? You get around a certain person that with that low energy, and they'll take you down to the ground. So I try to stay around people with that good energy so I can just boop, 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 float, baby. Guys, get with you some friends that can push you without even pushing you. You can just look at them and be like, I'm finna grind. I got a couple homeboys, man. They come to the gym, and I be like, that motherfucker did 20. I'm doing 21. What's up? You did 20? <laughs> Piece of cake. I got 21. I might be doing this. His 20 was up here. His 20 was up here. My 20 right here. Ah, that shit hurt, bro. That shit hurt. But I'm going to get my 21. It might not be the same 21 you got. No, that you got 20. I'm getting 21. Even if that motherfucker just a little bit. <clears throat> That 21, bro. <laughs> Give me my 21, bro. Get with you some people that can push you. Stop hanging with these motherfuckers ain't doing that, man. What's up? Let's get it. 530 in the morning. We grinding. I'm finna go hit up the gym. Then I'm gonna go to work. Cause that's what I want. I want to be better. Guess what? I tell my big dude all the time. I say, guess what? When you leave the gym, you think I'm about to leave cause you leaving? No, I'm about to get another set in on your ass because I'm going to be stronger. When you get back tomorrow, you're going to be like, that motherfucker was lifting this yesterday. Now he lifting it. That's because I got an extra set in on your ass, boy. Let's go. Good way to, good way to tell me to slow it down. Good teamwork. No threes. Die by the two. I'm going under. I'm going under. I'm going under. I'm going under. Good. I'm going under. I'm going under. Switching. Full switch. Full switch. Twi no fouls. Look at the shot clock. Good. 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 Slow. Hit that slip. Oh, it's dead. It's dead. Okay. Good teamwork. Good teamwork. Good teamwork. Hey. Hey. Train. Go up and cut to the paint. All right, let me let me see it. Good pass. <laughs> Stay trained. Full switching. Y'all both the same height. Or similar. We can live with the two. We can't live with the three. My bad team. Good. Train back door. Bruh, I, okay, I ain't, I ain't gonna do no back door. Good. Man, fuck these slow ass passes. My bad team. Train, okay, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm going under. Good. 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 We die by the two. We die by the two. Good teamwork. All right, we just need one bucket. We're going real slow on that bitch. I'm finna shoot this bitch. Fucking go, boy. Get patient, nigga. Let's fucking go, man. Good defense. Good teamwork on the defense, boy.
They only got one three. Good teamwork. Let's fucking go, man. Let's go, baby. That's what I like to see right there, man. I know y'all was like, is he gonna hit that bitch though? Guess what? I was out of energy and everything, boy. I only had one bar. Hey, let's go, nigga. I took my time on that bit. I knew I was out of energy. <laughs> let's go, man. It teamwork, fellas. He might actually mean it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good shot. Hey, I'm hitting though. You feel me? I'm shooting that bit. I don't give a fuck if I miss. No way. Black Steve Nash, we're going to put the ball up. <laughs> What's good, my guy? 